Matt, we haven't had a chance to catch up. We haven't had a chance to catch up with you since that day when uh, Sprott pulled out of your fight. At the time, how did it affect you? Yeah, I was very um, disappointed, but at the same time, I had to kind of reflect and think, you know, a year ago it was me, you know, I had to pull out for injury, so I know that Michael Sprott is very professional, he's got a professional team around him, so I didn't think it was anything less than an injury. Um, we just had to kind of like sit down, um, take the training down a little bit and then regroup and, and pick it up again when we got an actual date. How hard has it been for you, considering that you've been out of the ring that long and you've got to be training and turning over for a very long time now, so to sort of reach, reach, reach a crescendo, almost a peak, taper down and come back again, how hard has that been? Not really, really. I mean, fortunately for me, I stay in the gym and, and, and try and stay active, even after my initial hand injury. We were still in the gym doing um, like our road work and, and stuff like that. The only thing which it held me back on was sparring and a bit of pad work, but as soon as we got the okay from the doctors, we went straight back into the pad work and then we brought in the sparring partner. So, you know, I'm quite focused. Like I said, I, 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 I try and live the life all the time, regardless of whether I've got a fight coming up or not. And um, it was just really wanting to be back in there. You know, I've, I've been kind of training hard and you know normally you train hard for a fight and there's a goal at the end of it mm. so obviously when Mike was unable to fight the first time around yeah I was disappointed but you kind of have to keep a realistic cap on it and just sit down and regroup. It would be understandable if the spot prank camp and even you know the pundits thought yeah, actually this could actually be very detrimental for you considering you've been out the ring for so long now. Yeah of course it could be I mean ultimately it's like anything you know the more you do it the more experience you get and hopefully the better you become but um, like I said we brought in good spine partners and it was um, it practically reenacting what the fight would be but you got more protection on um, so hopefully I think it's gonna make me more hungry I, I so want to get in there you know like I'm counting the days really and um, I just think everybody's in for an explosive fight and just a word in your public workout today um, beautiful arena it's got a big show that's going to be on just a word while your fans should come down to this fantastic place and have a look at you I mean first of all it's like a brilliant stadium like you said this how we sat out is brilliant um, I just think it's nice I think a lot of people are kind of thinking because I fought Sprott before and I beat him they're thinking it's a foregone conclusion not at all I'm not taking it for granted it's going to be a really tough fight he gave me a tough fight first time around I think um, I've got a lot more experience now obviously he's fought in Europe but I just want them to get behind me and give me all the support they can you know it, the, the crowd lifts you and, and the more the merrier really thanks Matt cheers thank you very much sir.